Hey guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a little setting I have stumbled across in Simplify 3D. The setting is in the Layers tab of the slicer and it is called Print Islands Sequentially Without Optimization. I noticed this when I came across a post on Simplify 3D's Instagram page and have used it a few times since to see if I can get some better prints. Now, what Simplify 3D does as standard is try to save you print time by every time it prints a layer and it then moves up to the next one, it will continue printing in the same place. If you've got lots of small little islands dotted around the print, or for example, you're printing, let's say a chair, which has four legs, it will print one leg, print another, 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 then as it steps up the next layer, it will stay printing in this same place. This means that section can get quite hot um, because it has the printer printing over it for two times. It does one layer, steps up, does that next layer. Now instead, with this option enabled, it won't do that. It will print an island once, then it will move, print again, move, print again, move, print again. Step up the layer and continue moving rather than stepping up the layer and printing again. So, it does mean that you end up with a longer print and more travel moves, but it does mean that you get better cooling of those parts. And if you're printing smaller pieces, like these little statue parts that I've been experimenting on, you can get some better detail. What I did notice is that my retraction settings uh, were off and I got a lot more stringing and oozing because there were more travel moves. And so that's something that needs to be experimented with. I found that Upping the retraction just a little bit more um, works. I, I normally print with quite a small amount of retraction because I don't like to have any issues with filament jams. Now this is a statue that I printed with the optimization on and so less travel moves um, and you can sort of see that every third or so layer you're getting this extra blobbing and that's where a layer would have been printed directly onto the layer above with no travel movements in between and as a result you get a little bit more heat in that part of the print and a little bit less detail. Uh, then when I switched over to turning it off the detail did improve but I got more stringing but you could see that the actual outline of the part was much more crisp and that was nice. So with a little bit of attraction dialed in, we end up getting some pretty nice looking pieces. Again, there's still improvements that could be made in other areas, but this was just focusing on that one uh, feature. So what are the best ways you can use this feature to improve your prints? Well, this is going to have the most predominant effect on smaller parts. Smaller parts because they have smaller islands and as a result a shorter printing time anyway and therefore massively reduced cooling time. If you instead print a part, move away to the next island, print that and eventually come back to that same area, you're giving it a huge amount more cooling time than if you just print it, step up, print again. And uh, I'm hoping to be able to post some nice prints on my Instagram using this feature shortly. Uh, so give that a follow at 3D tomorrow as well. Hope this video was helpful and might inspire you to have a play around with the setting. I've not got it 100% dialed in, but I wanted to put this video out there as I've been a bit slow uh, getting content out recently as I've been very busy with the launch of 3D tomorrow filaments. Go check that out. Uh, yeah, I've got loads more videos coming up soon also, hoping to do some on business tutorials and I might do my next video on planning and why you should be doing it. So do subscribe to the channel if any of that sounds interesting and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.